Welcome back to Off Grid 101. Winter is here. It is cold in my shop. Yesterday, it literally got to four degrees Fahrenheit. If you live in a cold area like I do here in the Northeast, it is unbearable to be out in your shop in the cold unless you have a suitable heating system. I had been suffering for many years with this old electric oil style heater. It's a radiator filled with oil and it uses convection to push the air up through these fins. This is a really awful system. I mean, this thing raised the temperature a few degrees at best. So a couple of years ago, I upgraded to this 70,000 BTU Vivor kerosene heater. This thing is really great, blows a lot of hot air. It's worked really well for my heating needs. My only complaint really is that it puts out a lot of sulfur gas and being an ex-smoker, I'm really sensitive to that. So I wanted to get rid of the smell, which brings me to this Vivor diesel heater. This is a 20,000 BTU heater. I just picked it up for under $100. It has a separate intake, exhaust, and air outlet. It uses a heat exchanger internally and allows your exhaust to blow outdoors while clean air blows into your shop. The main problem with this unit is that the majority of your heat literally goes out the window through your exhaust. So what I've decided to do with this is to combine this diesel heater with my old oil heater. I'm gonna funnel the exhaust from this diesel heater through the oil heater. I'll drain the radiator of oil and have the hot air run through that. The majority of the heat should be captured by that radiator and then these fins will work with that convection action to get that additional heating from there. And hopefully by the time the exhaust reaches the outdoors, It'll be very cool and I won't be losing a lot of energy. All that said, let's get into the build. I'm really excited to get all this put together. I think it's going to be a really simple project. Let's go. What I'm gonna do is put this thing back together, attach it to the diesel heater, fire it up, and see how it works.
Okay. Huh. Okay. So after reading the manual on this diesel heater, it requires 20 amps of 12 volt AC, DC to run. So I did find that the EcoFlow has a 30 amp 12 volt out, but uh, I'm gonna connect to that for the final product. But for right now, it's for testing purposes, I just decided to hardwire it to the jumper cables. All right, that is running now. Great. I'm gonna turn up the heat. Six is the maximum. Burner is on. Five, eighty, ninety. And this is at 140. So the primary heat output is working, and we've got this whole secondary heat heating system. 105 degrees. That's working about as well as it did when it was powered by electricity. Now I've got all this exhaust coming out into my garage. I don't want all that carbon monoxide in here, but uh, this is just a quick test to see how efficient everything is. This pipes up to 150. The output of that is 180. 185 and then this is a nice radiant heat that's up to 110 112 65 degrees coming off the machine feels a little more than that to touch going in it's uh, 240 I'm sure it's more than that. That pipe is hay colored. I'm sure that's at least 300 degrees. 307. All right, that's a good test. I'm gonna shut this down. I don't want that exhaust blowing into my shop, getting all that carbon monoxide. But uh, I'm gonna call that a success. I'm gonna hook this up to the window. We're gonna make a little mount for this all so that it's one unit. Then we're gonna call it a day. All right, here's where we're at. This needs another coat of paint. I sanded it a little. Uh, we're gonna get that looking nice and glossy. I got these wheels on brackets. I'm gonna pop the wheels off and then I'm gonna add a little angle iron on this to make a mount. And then I've got these old brackets that I had sitting around that I had never used. I'm gonna cut these up and make a stand to put all of this on. I'm also gonna cut a new exhaust pipe to go between the diesel heater and the radiator because I wanted to add a little space between them. So on test fitting this, I don't think this is going to work. We're going to have to find some other solution.
All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Still blowing about 170 out the front. Exhaust is about 160. Top of that guy is about 90 now. Our exhaust out the back. Still around 55. I'm gonna turn this all the way up to number six. Let's see what that does. Inside there, it's over 200 on that. When we get inside the plastic, 220. Over here, our exhaust is 260. It's 105. On the inside, 20, so I kept taking temperatures for another half hour or so. Um, they stayed about the same readings, 185 out the front, 125, 130 out of the top of the radiator. Uh, the exhaust out the window never really got above 75. Uh, the exhaust from the diesel heater into the radiator was ranging between 260 to 300 in the back. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Let's get into a recap. All right, so what do I think? I'm really impressed with this diesel heater. Uh, it's run for about 45 minutes, maybe an hour in my shop, used very little fuel. I put very little in it to begin with. My shop's a really comfortable temperature. I don't even think I'm going to need the kerosene heater. This is really warm. It's still giving off heat from this radiator. I think this was a great addition. It captures a lot more of that energy. There's almost none of it going out this exhaust pipe. It's been running for an hour and I can put my hand on that. It's super comfortable. A lot of the heat is captured down below and, and in this radiator. What can I say? You know, I'm really happy with this. I think it looks really cool. I got to use an old piece of junk that's been sitting in the corner forever. Uh, it's gonna keep my shop warm. The air in here is super clean. Uh, I'm not gonna have problems breathing. I'm not gonna be choking sulfur. So I'm about as happy as I could be with this thing. I recommend you get one of these. If you have an old electric oil heater sitting around, I'd say go and do a build just like this. I wouldn't buy one of these for this. I think they're about 80, 100 bucks. Yeah, but I hope this was helpful to you. I think it's a really great way of heating your space efficiently and inexpensively. That's all I got for this one. Tune in next time. If you like it, please give me a like and a subscribe. It'll really help the channel grow. Thanks guys. See you on the next one.